What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Myra M Ultra Lightweight Gaming Mouse from HK Gaming. I'm going to be reviewing it in depth and also letting you guys know if it's something that you guys should go ahead and pick up for yourselves. But before we get too far into today's video, if you guys haven't already gone ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel, please make sure to go ahead and do so. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the available options and colors for this mouse in specific. The Myra M or the Myra M, however you say it, is actually one of the most affordable mouses on the market and actually comes in at only $39.99 on Amazon currently. Now for some reason when we do look at the colors and the options for this mouse the black colorway is actually one of the only colorways that they're actually selling for that price point at $39.99. They do have tons of color choices available though. They do have a yellow and orange and even a stardust one which does look pretty cool. I'll make sure to toss it up on screen somewhere. Unfortunately a lot of the cooler colorways like that stardust and even the orange and yellow one all come in at about $49.99 on Amazon so you do have to pay that little $10 premium for a different color or a cool looking color, which is unfortunate. But I think the $39.99 deal is actually just an exclusive Amazon sale right now because I did look at the HK Gaming website in specific and all of them were $49.99 on the HK Gaming website. So it doesn't make a whole ton of sense to me why the price would be different on Amazon, but I'm guessing they have some kind of exclusive deal or something. So I would definitely recommend you guys picking it up on Amazon versus the HK Gaming website. You'll also get it a ton quicker on Amazon, especially if you have Prime like I do. I ended up just picking up the matte black one because I actually really did enjoy the matte black finish on it. I really do enjoy the matte black finish though. It really doesn't make your hands too sweaty when you're playing for a long time, which is a nice touch in my personal opinion. Now, if we get into RGB, the only RGB that is available on this mouse, unfortunately, is actually that middle scroll wheel button. Now, honestly, this isn't a problem for me. I'm not a huge RGB guy, especially when it comes to mice, but when you're looking at the Model O or the Model D compared to this one, the glorious mice are obviously gonna have that cool RGB strip coming down like both sides on top of the mouse. Personally, I don't really care that much. The RGB on the scroll wheel of this mouse actually serves as a DPI changer as well. So the light actually corresponds with a certain DPI that you're on. So if I go ahead and show you guys mine, or actually I'll show it on screen as well. But mine currently is actually on the orange or it looks like kind of like yellowish, but it actually corresponds with the 800 DPI that I'm currently on. I have the full manual right here, which it actually gives each color and the corresponding DPI. But I'll go ahead and brush over it quick for you guys. 400 DPI is white, 800 DPI which is the one I have is yellow or kind of, it looks kind of orangish in my opinion but the 1600 is green 3200 blue and I mean if you're going higher than 3200 man I mean good luck but uh 6400 is cyan in 10,000 DPI is fuchsia. Fuchsia or pink? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Now, if we quick jump into a little more of the hardware and performance of this mouse, this mouse actually comes in at an advertised 63 grams, which is really, really light. It's actually a decent amount lighter than my Model D, which I actually tossed on my scale, and I actually measured at about 73 or 72 grams. So this thing definitely was a bit lighter and felt a little bit nicer to use personally than my Model D. If we get into the top and the side buttons on this mouse, the first thing that I noticed right off the bat was how satisfying both of these buttons actually were. Coming from the slightly mushy side buttons on my Glorious Model D, the Meyer M actually exceeded my expectations in that department. Now, one thing you should know is that unfortunately there are only side buttons on the left side of the mouse. So if you guys are a left-handed gamer, you guys are probably gonna be out of luck in this department as well. Now on the back of the HK Gaming box, it did say it was ambidextrous, but I mean, how many left-handed gamers are really gonna use a mouse that doesn't have buttons on the right side? Probably not many, but I'm also a right-handed gamer so I don't really know and I can't really say for them but I did just want to let you guys know that it does only have side buttons on the left side it did come pre-installed with mouse feet on the bottom as I could probably show you guys on screen it did come with extra ones as well which I didn't actually get to show on the b-roll but I will show you guys right here it kind of looks just like the glorious model d mouse feet as you guys can see here it gives you the bigger pads as well which I thought it was a really nice touch and I actually didn't think they were going to send them it gives it a nice glide and definitely on my zero gravity odin mouse pad it works super super nice and it's a really nice combination in my opinion i also didn't go over this in b-roll either but i did go ahead and put the little rubber grips that it actually comes with which is actually also a nice touch let's see if it's gonna focus here i figured for a mouse of this price that you weren't gonna really get anything extra and i was genuinely surprised when i got those extra mouse feet and also these rubber grips to go ahead and actually put on the mouse honestly a really nice touch and i really didn't think i was gonna get those extra things with such a cheap and affordable mouse also the build quality on this thing I have to say is a lot better and that also exceeded my expectations for sure with the glorious model D I was just having a little bit of like a plastic issue I don't know if any of you guys had this problem let me know in the comment section down below if you guys had this problem with your glorious mouse as well but personally this little side 
right here like where i'm resting my thumb it always kind of like creaks and like makes this like plastic creaking noise it's really annoying but like i'm always putting pressure there because i'm a very much like a palm gripper and like that's just that that noise and that little give it has is really really annoying and i'm not even gonna lie it honestly just bugs me in general overall my honest opinion is that this mouse packs an amazing amount of performance and quality at that 39 dollar price point i'd say the only competing mouse at this price point is probably the razor viper mini now if you guys have watched older videos on my channel you guys have watched my glorious model d review you guys would know that i have larger hands and i have pretty long fingers as well like i know the myra m comes in like a myra s which is like a smaller version but like i just cannot use small mice but i'd say if you guys do have smaller hands i'd say the razor viper mini is also a really good option and you might also be looking at a little bit better of quality control over there at razor maybe in the future if i have some extra cash i'll go ahead and pick up the razor viper mini and maybe do like a comparison video i feel like that would be a pretty cool video to make but the only reason i talk about quality control especially with this mouse is that i watched a lot of other youtubers just to kind of get myself like a little bit of knowledge as far as like quality control and how everyone received theirs and i did notice on a lot of their videos that they were receiving like not defective but like they did have a little bit of problems with their mouse and just quality control in general so i'd say definitely if you guys order off amazon you guys also have like amazon prime i really wouldn't even be worried about that i'm sure amazon would easily send you another one if you do have problems with it amazon customer support for me has always been super good but i also have amazon prime and i know they treat prime members differently than like just the regular person shopping on amazon as well but yeah if you guys like this mouse and you guys end up wanting to check it out or pick one up for yourselves there will be a link in the top of the description if you guys do want to check it out now that link in the description is also an amazon affiliate link so if you guys do want to help me out over on the channel and you guys want to help me review more products make sure to go ahead and click that link and add to cart and then at some point if you guys end up buying it it will give me a small percentage and i do appreciate it very very much if you guys have any questions make sure to go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below i will answer all of them to the best of my ability also i think i'm going to be planning on customizing this mouse as well so make sure to go ahead and hit that notification button so you guys know when that video goes live also i do have some things in the works and i will be having some more keyboard and mouse reviews on the channel very very soon so make sure you guys do subscribe for that as well and yeah thank you guys for watching this far i really really appreciate it i will catch you guys in the next video on the channel thank you for watching peace